I think for PSA Marine, we are quite excited um, to see some of these concepts being applied to a real-world towage operation. Uh, we also see the potential to really enhance uh, the situation awareness through sensor data fusion, uh, through having perhaps what I would term as a human-centric interface. And all of these combined with the skills and the training that we provide uh, for our Tuck Masters, uh, I believe we would be able to uh, be safer, smarter, and certainly way more effective uh, than we could before. It really captures the human element. It's about the client and actually about the end user and co-creating something that's actually useful for the end user. That's first thing. But very importantly also is to be able to test bed new technology. In this particular case, as Bernard has highlighted, we're introducing new technologies to enhance situational awareness in a very busy and very demanding port. We're also enabling passage planning with collision avoidance. Well, this is a perfect environment, being a very busy harbour, lots of different types of vessels. You can't possibly do this in other environments that are pristine waters, for example. And the fact that the government is allowing us to test bit with their consent and also with their support is greatly appreciated. And this is actually unique in, uh, in this particular project. And I would say, actually say unique worldwide in terms of the types of capabilities and technology we're trying to deploy. And sometimes the very assumptions that we bring to this project uh, could very well be revised by the end of the discussion. And I think that's the power when you, that's the power of having creative differences, but a common goal. And once again, I feel that with all the support and the resources that have been made available, um, I'm quite confident that we can reach the outcome uh, that both Watsila and PSA Marine have set it out to be. I would also like to uh, mention that without the participation of the crew, uh, I believe, Chris, you have met them. They are passionate, they are committed, they love their jobs. I think these are the very people uh, that we have at the front and the back of our minds when we do this IntelliTap project. And the question that keeps coming back is, how can we make their work safer, smarter, and more effective? How can we enable them to have better jobs, better skills? How can we enable them to co-create a safer port ecosystem where all the stakeholders can eventually contribute towards? But I believe that all the stakeholders have come to the table with a mindset to co-create and do something that is unique uh, together, I believe that's a great start and I look forward to a successful outcome for the IntelliTap project. Mm. So overall, lots of different types of technology that we bring together on the table, combined with the experience and expertise, put it all together, now we've got a very interesting recipe to create something very unique and very powerful.